Hey folks, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the timing on a Ford Pinto engine. This one here is a 1600 or 1 1.6. It's the same as the 2 litre really. Sometimes there are variations in the crankshaft pulley. You can get the cast ones or the pressed ones and the timing marks are a little bit different. So I've already confirmed the timing marks on this pulley by using a dial gauge. So I've set the dial gauge on the engine turned it on and found our top dead centre mark on our first cylinder and that corresponds to the first notch in the crankshaft pulley. I had a look at some of the diagrams online and some of them show it as the second notch but it's definitely the first notch on this one. As we look from the top of the engine down just below the fan we can see the crank pulley here just going to zoom in a little bit and here we can see the four notches that are on this cast flywheel pulley or crankshaft pulley and we can see this little red casting as well that comes to a point so that's what we're going to line up our first notch with we're going to have it directly in line you need to be looking in line with this notch as well when you're lining it up it's also a good idea at this stage to set the timing on your distributor just roughly so you know you're not too far out. So spark plug wire number one is this one here. It's the shortest lead, yeah. So we want to set our rotor to that position pretty roughly. So we can do that by just rotating that shaft. So you can mark it on the housing off the distributor if you want. Here I can see it's in line. I'm going to set that within a couple of degrees. We'll be fine tuning the distributor and timing later. So I've reinstalled the cylinder head now on the engine. To get this properly timed we are going to look through the bottom hole. There are three holes in the sprocket of the camshaft. Behind one of the holes there's a small arrow and that arrow is going to point to a little punched dot that's in the casting of the cylinder head. Looking at the diagram here in the Haynes manual we can see the arrow I'm talking about. It's part of the plate that sits behind the camshaft sprocket and we can see the dot that's punched in the cylinder head. You can also see for reference the crankshaft and this is a method of timing it if you don't have the sprocket on. So you're lining up the key way directly in line the centre of the crankshaft to the centre of the camshaft and that line should also go through your arrow and your dot. It's quite hard to view the pointer. I was using a mirror to see it in reverse but here if I zoom in on the camera you can see the pointer there and directly in behind that is the dot. So everything is lined up here for me perfectly if you make sure and give the engine a couple of turns over and make sure your tensioner is tight and hopefully everything will line up perfectly for you.